In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use automation to create thumbnails and graphics for social media. Let's do it. So I manage a lot of content. This is my content engine. It helps me organize all my content. I have easy access to copy images and media. I can easily post all that content to multiple social media platforms. And I also manage a lot of events. I have a lot of YouTube videos. I have a lot of different ideas and various videos are at different stages. And I needed a simple way to differentiate these different cards at a glance. And so I used Airtable's file attachment to display thumbnails on each of the cards. And so you can see, at a glance, it helps me differentiate the different cards from each other. Now, obviously my real YouTube videos get a thumbnail at some point in the process and those get added to the cards. But before it's gotten to that stage, I needed a way to automatically create these generic thumbnails so that I could see these different cards at a glance. So you see here, if I create a new card and I type test card, the automation will automatically run and will create this thumbnail for me. So you can see that that thumbnail is generated and then added to the card automatically. Now to do this, it's not hard. I'm using a service called Banner Bear and I just created a project and inside that project, I created a basic template, in this case, pretty generic, just so I had thumbnails for that particular event screen. And then you put in your text here and then the automation is able to replace this text with whatever I put as the name of the card. And so in Zapier, all I have to do is create an automation that is looking for some sort of trigger. In this case, it's when I put it into this column here, thumbnail creation, and then it finds that row in the database. So it's finding this particular card so it can look up the name and then it actually creates the image in Banner Bear and you just add in the template that you want to use and then you pass it the text that you want it to use for that particular example. And in this case, it's passing the name of the card to this automation so that we can come back here in Airtable and add it to the card. And then the final automation simply just updates the Airtable record and adds the actual attachment, the image to the row in Airtable, which allows us to show it in the events tab. So that's pretty cool. It just makes it a lot easier to manage a lot of different events that might be in your production calendar at a glance. But then I got to thinking and I I was pretty sure that I could also create social media graphics. So here's an example where we have an Instagram quote and we have what the graphics should look like. We have my profile picture here and then we have some default text and we can replace this text as well pretty easily. So I'm back in my content engine. I've got a piece of test content here and I'm just going to go in here and put in some sort of quote, test quote for YouTube video. I'm gonna put that as a title for the quote card. And then I'm gonna trigger another automation and I'm just gonna say, build me an Instagram graphic. And that's going to trigger this automation here, which is going to create the quote card from the text I entered into Airtable. And then it will actually upload the file to Google Drive. So I'll have access to it so I can actually publish it. And then it'll update the Airtable row. You see here that that graphic is starting to get loaded into Airtable. And then if we click on it, we can see that the text that we put into Airtable is now on the quote card. And you can see that this automation is just like the other one that created the more generic template. The only difference in this one is that I also upload it to Google Drive so I have access to that graphic long term. So there you go. Now you can automate your thumbnails and your graphics for social media. As always, I hope you found this video valuable. Make sure to check out the next video. I go in depth on how to automate the rest of your content workflow from beginning to end the entire thing. Check out that video and I will see you there.